In this segment, we want to dimension the floor plan. First, we need to know what scale we're going to plot this floor plan. We'll assume that we'll plot it at a scale of a quarter inch equals one foot. We'll use that to calculate the height of the uh, text that will be required for the dimensioning. To calculate that, we will have four, which represents one over a quarter of an inch. We're going to multiply that times 12 to convert from feet to inches, and then we'll multiply that times 0.1, which is the height of the text we'd like it to plot at. This is equal to 4.8. You can check that on your calculator. So, I want to go to Annotate, click on the arrow that goes off to the side for text styles, or I can type in style at the command line. I want to create a new text style. I'm going to name it Arc Text 1 4. This is simply to remind me that this text style is for a quarter inch equals a foot scale. So click OK. Simplex will be a nice uh, font for this particular um, dimensioning. The height we calculated to be 4.8 inches. AutoCAD knows it's in inches. We'll apply. Set current. So all the text that is um, typed now on the sheet will be on this text style. And we'll close. Next, I need to create a dimension style. So go to the dimension style arrow here, we'll s click that, or notice at the command line, all I have to do is type in dim style. What I want to do is create a new dimension style. Again, I'll use a similar type of naming convention. I'll call it arc dim 1-4. And I'm going to continue. The primary units that I want to use will be architectural units and a precision of a sixteenth of an inch. On this particular page, I want to make sure that I have other settings set correctly. For example, <coughs> zero suppression. Um, I do not want to suppress the zero inches. I do like my dimensions to be in feet and inches as they're shown here. So click that off. I may want to increase the precision of the decimal degrees just like we did with our units. And then I just kind of look over everything else. This looks just fine for right now. Next, I want to go to text tab. We created a text style so I should be able to pull this down, find the text style that I created. We'll select that for our text style. Symbols and arrows. Generally, architectural plans, um, you can choose between arrowheads or what's referred to as architectural ticks. But for leaders, we'll always use arrowheads. This works best. Finally, we want to determine the scale at which the dimension should be. We'll use set the overall scale here. The way that we calculate the overall scale is similar to how we calculated the text. In this case, we simply take 4 times 12, which gives us 48. We'll use that for the overall scale. That should be everything that we need, so we'll click OK. Yes, I'll click OK. I'll go ahead and override that. And now I want this dimension style to be set current. Go ahead and close. Well, let's take this for a ride and let's see if that worked for us. So, I'm going to try a linear dimension. I'm going to dimension the entire house. So I'm going to click to the end point here. Notice that I have my 
object snaps on. You can turn those on, go to settings, and verify that you have the snaps that you need. For example, endpoint, midpoint, center. I often like to also reference intersections. Say OK. So, snap to the endpoint here and to the endpoint here. Drag the dimension up and and so now I have a dimension for the entire house. There's just one more thing I need to do. Layer manager. So I want to create a layer, a new layer. I'll call it A-Dimensions. I'm going to change the color to color 7, which is black and white. Say OK. Set this current. And click close. Now I can put this dimensions on that layer. So navigate to that layer, click, press escape to release the grips, and now I have everything under control.